Okay, what is up, people? Um, happy. Is it still morning? I don't know what. I don't know what time it is, y'all. I have been so busy. I had to. Um, I was at acting class last night. Didn't get home till like one o'clock. Then I had to wake up this morning um, and finish. I have like a weekly routine. My weekly routine is basically like I do. Um, I have to do two songs, one YouTube video, and like amongst other things. And so. You know, it's getting towards the end of the week and I was like, oh my God, I haven't done my two songs. I haven't done my YouTube video and then I have to work the whole weekend. So with that being said, um, I'm here today with the video. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the uh, Shea Moisture um, Extra Moisture Detangler. Uh, so this is a leave-in conditioner that Shea Moisture has from their Raw Shea Butter line. And um, I bought this at... I bought this at Walgreens when they had their buy one get one sale. So I got it for only uh, half price. Well, I didn't get it for half price. I got two for the price of one. So it was, um, I want to say it was like for two, I got, they were $12 a piece. Now, regular price is just $12 for one. So um, I'm going to keep that in mind as I do this review. Okay, so as far as like the smell, it smells like the, uh, like the other stuff from the, the Raw Shea Butter line, like it just smells similar to the shampoo and the conditioner and stuff. Um, as far as like the consistency, the consistency reminds me of like... Uh, sorry, I didn't get enough. Um, it reminds me of like... Uh, kind of like, uh, like a Kinky Curly Not Today. Um, but... It's like more sticky, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's a lot more sticky than Kinky Curly Not Today. And this can, this uh, leave-in actually gets compared to Kinky Curly Not Today a lot because it looks very similar. But the ingredients are really different. Like, um, the ingredients, the first ingredient on this is glycerin. Um, so, yeah, so this is like glycerin-based, I guess. It has, wa water is the second ingredient, but glycerin is the first ingredient. Um... So that's one thing I don't really like about this uh, product is that the glycerin is so high up. So like if I use this and I use like uh, Eco Styler or something with glycerin in it, like I feel like that might be too much glycerin. Um, but I'm not a glycerin expert, so I mean maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this this can this but this um, as far as like performance, this uh, it does a really good job of detangling. Um, this does a better job of detangling than some regular conditioners I've used, like some rinse outs. So the slip on this is really good. I would give this a 5 out of 5 for slip. It is really slippery. Um, I don't know if it's because of the glycerin or whatever, but it's very slippery. It's more slippery than the not today. Um, so you'll definitely, like, you'll be able to detangle your hair with this. Like, if you haven't detangled in a long time, then you, you want to whip this bad boy out. Um, so, yeah, it's very good for detangling. It moisturizes very well. It's not, it's very, um, it has a thin consistency, so it's not, um, it's not too heavy. Uh, as far as like absorbing into your hair now it might be heavy because of the glycerin like once it's in your hair and like a couple days later but um but as far as like like application of the product it, it goes on very smoothly like yeah I like I like the consistency of it I like the fact that it has a lot of slip I don't like the fact that it has glycerin and I don't like the fact that for eight ounces this costs like I think ten or eleven dollars so I mean it's a little expensive. I mean, um, so would I purchase this again? I would not purchase this again unless it was a buy one get one f sale. Um, just because it, I mean, I like the I like the detangling power that it has, but I detangle my hair often anyway, so it's not like I need a lot of detangling power. But this, I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, it's definitely worth a try. Um, I would, I wouldn't buy, I would not buy this again at full price because, um, I like to get a lot, I like to get my money's worth. I like to feel like I'm getting, getting my money's worth. So I can't get down with the eight ounce, um, for $12. Now, Kinky Curly, not today. Um, it, it's about the same price, but I don't even use that. So, I mean, but as far as like a, a if I had to give it a score out of five, I would give this a 3.5 um with the downside being the price the ingredient the glycerin the ingredients are all good except for the glycerin at the top um so the price that's a downfall 
the ingredients, um, and that's pretty much it. Like, it's, it's a decent product. It is a decent product. Um, it's not a holy grail for me, but it's a decent product. I don't mind using it. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm off to go do schoolwork and other things that need to get done. But yes, I still gave you this video. And, um, you know, thank you guys for watching. And I'll be back next week. Peace.